So we're gonna do like five minutes of cold open just to before give some- Before we actually start. Before we start, and then we'll do like, uh, hit, then you'll give us like a three, two, one or something no, like that? No, we'll just start, they'll edit. You don't, Zach will edit. We don't oh, have to okay. worry about right. any of them. All right. Wow. What else is going on with you these days? Have you seen the new, the new Milk and Mark shirts? Mm. I mean the new Milk and Mark shirts? No. Take a look, take a look. Okay. Oh, you kept your keeper on. Yeah. Right. These new shirts are zip-up. They're zip-up shirts. Oh, that's comfortable. Oh my god! It's a zip-up shirt. From, oh my god. That's like Milk and Merch zip-up shirt. Where are the gun control activists when you need them? You haven't seen these? Um, no, I haven't. <laughs> They're good for like the warm weather? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, they, I can see where that would, why that would be the it's, case. It's, I guess you need a little sunscreen on your arms, but... Definitely. You don't want like any like early aging. <laughs> Yeah. On your arms. Um, so, are you, did you get one yet? I don't think I'm going to. Um, I, I kind of like. You. Uh, <laughs> what's so fun? <laughs> no, nothing. You look great. Right, you look great. We, don't let anybody tell get you this different. thing started. I mean, sure, everybody is telling you differently, but don't listen to them. Yeah, let's All get right. this thing started. All right. Wait, Do you want, have, have a, you tried the salt and vinegar yet? Sure, I'll take one. These are the second best flavor. What's the first best? No, this is a, this is the first best. Salt and fresh ground pepper. Mm. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. We should probably do this. All right, guys. Yeah. What's that? Have some tea. Yeah. Yeah, you want some sada? Okay. All right. Yeah. Mm. Welcome to the Milken Afternoon Show, a new production by faculty and staff for faculty and staff. None of us teachers really understand the fever dream that is the Milken Morning Show. So that student-produced nonsense will now be balanced by teacher-produced magnificence. Will you get it? No. But it should help us vent and survive the rest of the semester. Ms. Maller, what do we have to look forward to on today's show? Thanks, ID, and welcome back to the job we literally did not ask to do ever. And before we get any further, we want to make sure that we to thank our sponsors, the College Counseling Department, reminding you who really runs this school. Oh, is that still right, or is it the marketing department? Yeah, marketing this department. Year? Okay, external that's what I relations. Yeah, external, external relations. relations. Yeah. yeah. The big news of the day is that our faculty and staff just love everything that is happening at Milken, and we just want more of the same: more teachers, more books, more teacher-loving comments on assessments, more reassessment schedules, more remodeling, more schedule changes, more, more, more. For example, let's start with Milken merch. The Faculty Advisory Committee recently proposed a new dress standard for teachers, and the proposal was accepted. So what will we be wearing next, starting next fall? Well, the teachers love the current student options, but wanted something a bit edgier, a bit more Jewish. Something that both captures our core values and harken back to the dark days of our own high school years. The new line is called Juphoria. Juphoria. Ash, you're not doing this, man. How do you think this is going to end, bro? Wow, that's so amazing. Talus, the original blanket scarf. The milk and merch costs so much money. How will teachers be able to afford it? Enter Mr. Moran. Mr. Moran has taken the millions we've made by selling milk and merch to students, and he's turned it into billions. But is any of that money actually usable? Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is get your fiat into Coinbase. And then from Coinbase, you're gonna move it to Web3 by doing a transfer to your MetaMask wallet. In MetaMask, we can have to pay some gas fees and some transaction fees. But uh, pretty soon, we'll be able to bridge over to the Polygon network. Now, the Polygon network has transaction fees that are less than a cent, as opposed to Ethereum, which has like $60 transaction fees. And it's better for the environment because these transactions are uh, trade it for uh, NFTs that are reproducible and yield bearing. Uh, you could put it into a liquidity pool and then take the liquidity pool tokens and stake those for enhanced bonuses. That is so amazing. 
what's happening on the classroom front? Well, before we get to the classroom updates, we actually have a special behind the scenes segment. Hello, and welcome to In the Corner Home Edition, where I will answer a frequently asked question about how I prepare my hair in the morning. First, I soak my hair in a gallon of iced coffee. Second, I have a small child use a hot iron. <laughs> Third, another small child applies a limited amount of product. <laughs> and I'm ready for school. Amazingly weird and addictive. I don't understand how he gets his hair so silky and smooth and still arrives on time, Starbucks in hand, to wish every student a bow care tov. No one likes it when you do that. Anyway, on the classroom front, administration seems to be concerned that we aren't living up to the core values of Milken, specifically kehila, or community. And in order to really deepen our commitment to complete unity, we need to banish all use of personal pronouns on campus. Listen, students, as of today, in order to truly be a kahila, we are only using the pronouns we, us, anachnu. We are one. We are one. We are one. Amazing! That will definitely help increase and force school spirit. And any new testing calendar updates? We know some students have been having trouble adjusting, but faculty just love the new testing schedule. What another amazing example of unity. That's right, Rabbi David. Mr. Rani has an example on how that'll work. We are so excited to roll out this new testing calendar. It's going to be more like a life calendar. So controlled and organized and orderly I just love that. <laughs> Families will be required to consult it when setting bar and bar mitzvah dates for their kids. It will now tell students which milk and merch they'll have to wear that day, and will now decide what students can order from Vicky's and how long they can go without a haircut. OMG, that is so amazing. Is it true that you have one final announcement before we sign off? Well, here's the big one. Faculty and staff love the house system, but regret that there isn't a house that brings all of the adults on campus together. So we're excited to announce the fifth house today. In honor of Purim, in honor of a modern day Jewish hero, faculty, staff, administrators, welcome your new house, House Zelensky. Amazing. Happy Purim, Chad Purim Soneach, and may House Zelensky win. Welcome everyone to the Milken alumni who are now faculty group therapy or Mawan FGT. Yeah, I think we're still going to be working on that name. What about staff? How come we're not in the name? Yeah, you know, like adding another consonant is really going to help. Hey, can you do me a favor? I feel like the school is going to rebrand again in like four weeks. Can we just wait until then? Um, if we just get started, I bet we can get somewhere productive today. Finally. Well, speaking as someone who has been here since before the school even knew what logos were, I can't really deal with this change. It's like when Krispy Kreme went from live yeast cultures to powdered active yeast, total BS. 12 different blues, nine reds or yellows, a new logo over a few years. I can't keep track anymore. I honestly know we've had donuts delivered to Milken far fewer times than we've changed logos. And what's worse, while technically they're different, I literally cannot tell the difference. Here's an M, here's an M, there's an M. You know what would be nice? A donut. The Milk and Donuts has a nice ring to it. Oh, uh, thank you so much for sharing, uh, anonymous member of the communications team. You know, we have donuts in the teacher's lounge today, right? Uh, no, I did not know that. Okay, well, that was rude. Counselor, can you just text her and ask her to save me a donut? I don't know if that's going to be appropriate. Um, how about you share what's up with you today? Do you remember how there was always that kid in school who was trying to maximize their GPA? That was me. I did every extra credit, read every book, even though we all know those teachers who didn't read the actual book either. But now that I'm back, 
I feel like everywhere I go, I'm being graded. What do you uh, mean by that? You, you know, our faculty is really close, really connected. All the students love you. So where, where are you seeing this? It's all over, honestly, and for the dumbest stuff. I knew the first time I had submitted grades to my department head, they'd get reviewed. But I had to also send them to Mr. Ronnie. Well, remember, you can call your old teachers by their first name now. You say that, but anyway, I submitted them to Miss Monica. You know, I tried and she gave me a C. Then I was in the kitchen with Walter and I was sure he muttered something about B-level work. Then I microwaved my lunch. Oh my. Oh my God, I thought last week I got caught in the teacher's lounge. Mr. I, I mean, Elda was in there and she greeted me with a warm smile, but I was so used to not being allowed that I just ran away. Lelly, try being a new alum, like recent. I know I graduated somewhat recently, right? But I think some of the faculty still think I'm a student. I swear, last week, Mr. Lindsay tried to dress code me. I know that some of the students we have enjoyed business casual, but I feel like when I'm wearing my, my hoodies, uh, my Laker hoodie, for example, right? That squarely puts me in the faculty category because it's not milk and merch. Uh, I can't help it if I've worn the same clothes since ninth grade, right? I feel like my non-milk and merch is the most clear way to identify me as faculty. I get mistaken for a student so much recently that I've been having a recurring stress dream that I'm missing my Hebrew final. Well, I tried leaving campus the other day. I sat in my car and stared at the exit gate for 30 minutes. I needed a lunch. And every time Cody came out of the guard shack, he just shook his head. He was great about it, but it's like the fifth time this month, so he knows the drill by now. You know, one of these days, I'm going to make it off campus as an alum faculty. The other thing that I'm just now remembering is that, do you all remember that year they invested everyone's Mart card funds in cryptocurrency? There was some guy in the Mart. He said he's going to take care of it, right? He invested all of it in crypto, and so now... My card is still full. I literally just got an email from the Milk and Mart people. They can't put more money on it. I also have been getting emails from the IRS. Apparently, I owe 12 years of back taxes because someone in the Milk and Mart has been selling some of the Bitcoin that they took for me. Okay, I think we all need to refocus here. Um, what are you doing to make yourself a more integrated member of the faculty? Well, I started working with the student life team and Jewish studies faculty on a bunch of projects. See that right there. That's amazing. Great work. Everyone, I want you to learn from their example. Say it with me. Faculty, faculty are friends. friends. Students of life, not their life. life. All right. Good work, everyone. So what are you working on with them? We're working on different music projects, potentially Shabbat tones, Onegs, Senior Siyum. Okay, that sounds wonderful. Tell us a little bit more. Are you enjoying it? And uh, what, what is it exactly? Kind of like hard to describe. You know, it's achieving greater student unity by avoiding instruments. Oh, uh, no. Here, it kind of sounds like. No, oh, no, no, don't, 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 don't. No, please don't. Come on, Mallard. <laughs> 
tried the Purrier yet? You tried the, the Purrier? What? The Purrier? The carbonated mineral water? David, don't make me woman explain you. The Purrier is so good. It's Perrier. It's Perrier. No, David, it's Perrier. It's I mean, French. It's, it's Perrier. It's literally like from Iowa. No, David, I swear to God, the word is French. It's from it's from France. I hate but when you do this. L'chaim. Oh, okay. L'chaim. Chag Sameach.